Hey Chris here, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at my first Airbnb rental property and I'll show you how it is now completely ready for listing on Airbnb as well as other rental sites. Before we get into the video though, I'll just quickly mention the Investing Boss Facebook group. If you're not yet joined up, as usual, the link will be down in the description. But having said that, getting onto the laptop then, this is the email that I literally had, as you can see, two hours ago saying, Dear Valued Investor, we are reaching out with an important status update on the refurbishment and furnishing progress of your property. In the email, they talk about the process of getting the property registered under a special purpose vehicle, which is a company that owns the property and then you own shares in that company, so you indirectly own shares of the property. And they basically go into talking about how they've had a fit out contractor hired to carry out the renovation work and supply furniture for the property as budgeted. And we can see here, I'll put the screenshots up now. Uh, this is the before photos, so the living room here, and then this is the bedroom before. And if we jump over to this virtual tour, we can now have a look around my first Airbnb rental property in the City Walk area of Dubai and basically just look at what Stake have done to uh, get this property ready for rental. So here, all we need to do is click on play. That's gonna load up that 3D 360 virtual tour there, as you can see, and let us zoom in here. So this is the front door here. We come in and on the left-hand side, we have a just a, a little toilet. Uh, or WC, depending on what you want to call it, washroom. Uh, I can see now Stake actually lowered down the 360 camera so you can no longer see the reflection in the mirror. I prefer actually to be on uh, eye level and look around, not sort of scoop down, almost as if you're looking from a child's view now. But um, yeah, or even like a tall dog's view. But anyway, um, I prefer the old way that they did it. But coming into the living room here, you can see they've got the red curtains, they put this uh, splitting sort of piece here to split the dining room and the living room. I personally don't agree with that. I would have left it all open. I, I guess this is the downside. Uh, I'm not hating on this too much, but one of the downsides of uh, crowdfunding a property is you don't have a direct say in exactly what get, gets done to the property and you kind of have to just go with whatever uh, stake do. I mean, it would be a bit impossible to have the hundreds of co-investors all trying to decide on what to do. So it is best just to you know leave it to one uh, team there. But if we go over to the kitchen area here, yeah, we can see that everything is very much a red color theme here. And they've even got like the red towel there on the cooker. You can see this is ready now for someone to, to get into and start enjoying as a rental property. Um, we can go outside here and actually see that the cushions and the table, everything is now uh, ready and set up with the pool area just over there. So I think this is going to be quite popular on the Airbnb site for that pool reason. Um, it, you have to really look at these and think, okay, would I want to rent this out for myself to stay in as a holiday home? because that's what you're relying on to earn income from this. You want people to think, oh wow, and, and want to rent it out, and then that's gonna earn us our rental income. Do drop a comment, by the way, on this video below if you invested in this property yourself, because then obviously we are um, part owners in this one together. Um, I'll show at the end of this video another property that you can currently invest in on stake that is in the same area. So. This is the first one in City Walk that Stake set up, and there is a second one um, currently on their website. Um, you can see here they um, added in, in the hallway here, they added in this mirror here, which I think is a nice touch, as well as a seat and um, a table here. And then these kind of slats here on the wall. Um, not the best finish, if I'm honest, around the light switch there, but maybe they're gonna get some complaints on that. And maybe, or maybe it gets finished off properly. It could do with maybe like a bit of a chrome fitting surround there so it looks a bit better. But moving on over to the bedrooms then, we can go ahead and check out this first bedroom here. So again, into the bathroom, down onto the child's eye view here. Um, yeah, it's all ready there with towels and soaps and whatnot, ready for a uh, rental. And then in the bedroom, they've got the rug, the red curtains and all the bedding set up there. So nothing too drastic and the red wall there carrying on with the red theme. And then if we go to the second bedroom here, so just jump over to here 
that's actually in the bathroom. But over to the second bedroom, we can go ahead and see, yeah, the red bed and red detailing on the wall here, as well as these um, units here and the desk with chair and everything and an, another chair here. Um, just, you know, little things here like the gold flower and a little red candle just to finish it off nicely. And then finally, the last room to check here is the second bedroom uh, bathroom here. So just this nice table across the bath here. I think that's a nice touch with a few towels there. And again, some soaps and things that you would expect in an Airbnb ready for you to use it. Now, coming out of the virtual tour mode there, we can scroll down and, and see that, yes, there were 608 investors total on this one, me being one of them. We're expecting an annualized return there of 11.41%. So really, really good uh, expected return. Of course, nothing's guaranteed in investing, but we'll see what kind of return we get on that in the coming years. And we're expecting also a 7% net yield. So 7% net yield, that's the annual rental income that you'll expect to get after all the costs, um, you know, like management fees and upkeep of the property. Now clicking onto properties and the available properties here on state, you can actually see there's a two bed in City Walk, uh, but in building seven instead of building 11. So right next to the one I own a sharing. And this one is a rental, uh, as in a full-time rental, not a holiday home. So they have the full-time rentals where people are just living in them or the Airbnb holiday homes like the one I own. But yeah, if you were to currently get registered with stake, sign up and invest in this one here, you would own shares in a property right next door to the one I own shares in. But this one, so this is it here. It's very similar, uh, but this would be bringing in a guaranteed rental income as in guaranteed month in, month out while someone is renting it. Uh, we can look through the photos here. Again, very, very similar uh, to the one I was just showing you through. This one isn't on the ground floor. This is um, a few stories up there, but as I say, very similar. And with this one, if you did decide to invest, you got an expected annual return there of 10.41% with a 6% projected net yield there. Now, remember with stake, you can actually start investing on here. So if I just put in 500 dirhams there, at the current exchange rate, that's about 110 pounds. So if you didn't quite have the budget to throw 2000 dirhams or 440 pounds in, uh, in the first investment, you could join and just do 110 pounds and just buy shares in one property each month and then you're gonna build it up and then you'll get paid out your rental income and reinvest that and grow it over time. Now, as you can see here in my portfolio tab, I currently have three properties that I own. They've seen some capital appreciation there. I'm due to start earning the rental income very soon. That's why it says zero on the rent earn part. But I am gonna make videos showing my rental income and uh, other gains here. So do be sure to subscribe if you're interested in keeping up to date. I have another, uh, so I believe it's seven. It says nine here, but there's um, a couple of them where it's multiple investment. So I think it's seven other properties that I have here. And yeah, various uh, amounts of money that I've invested in those and expected rent there. But when they complete in the middle of June, then I will share on the channel here at the end of June, what kind of appreciation I've had and what kind of rental income I've had from all of these. And as I say, that'll be the end of June when I know all those figures. If you've enjoyed this video, please do tap the like button below. And of course, drop a comment with your thoughts on stake and if you're getting involved on the platform. But as usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.